Not everybody think, you know, reparations is a good idea, dog. Reparations is stupid. You know, I'm surprised to hear you say that. I figured you'd make a case for how slavery got you all oppressed and how the white man got his foot on your neck. Giving out money wouldn't do nothing. Look at him. Man, that boy ain't doing nothing now but infomercials for, uh, for bad credit. Man, slavery, man, it ruined my whole life. I don't life. know what y'all say, man, but I ain't taking no reparations because as a black man, I got my pride and my dignity. Next, you're going to talk about how the Jews got money from the Jews Holocaust. didn't get money, dog. Holocaust survivors Look, got money. Next, you're going to talk about how the Jews got money from the Holocaust. Jews didn't get money, dog. Holocaust survivors Look, got money. Next, you're gonna talk about how the Jews got money from Jews the didn't get money, dog. Holocaust survivors Look, got money. We, we, don't, we don't need reparations, all right? We need restraint. Restraint? Restraint. Man. Some discipline. Whatever. Don't go out and buy a Range Rover when you're living with your mama. <sighs> and pay your mama some rent. And can we please, please, please try and teach our kids something other than the Chronic album? And please, mm. black people, be on time for something other than free before 11 at the club. Man, Come down to it, sisters and brother. You cannot build a house without a foundation. If you don't have a foundation, you don't know what anything is. And the Lord calls me to put this black history series together is because I come to the conclusion that this Bible is my history and yours. And the only history that we can account to over here when they start talking about black history they showing they don't even go back and get ta Harry Tugman no more you understand what I'm saying you start telling me about celebrities let me tell you something sisters and brothers if our history is all about slaves and entertainers we don't have a history we just fit it into somebody else's history so the Lord said put it on my mind sisters and brothers to do it so last week we had uh, uh, Black History Told by the Prophets, Part 1, which was color. And if you was here last week, you don't have, a, you don't have any doubt in your mind that Israel or the so-called real Jews are black folks. I mean, none whatsoever, unless you just brain dead. This leg, sisters and brothers, is Black History Told by the Prophets, Part 2, Slavery. Slavery. You see, the Lord told it all because he knew that there was going to come a time when his people were going to be forgotten. He even said you're going to be forgotten. But then he gave you certain things that's going to happen to his people. And whoever this happened to, this is his people. It's just like I ask this question all the time. I wonder if the average black ever asked themselves the question, why am I in this, only, uh, uh, in this entire hemisphere that was brought here against his will? Nobody else. Have to have some significance, sisters and brother. Because the funny thing, you had a lot of society that was weak, a lot of society that could be taken over and knocked off by strong nations and tyrants, but why is it that you're the only one that was brought here as slaves? They should have brought the rest up. But they couldn't do it, sisters and brother, because the Lord had a plan. He laid something out. So in these last days, he let his people know who they are and what they're supposed to do. Because sisters and brothers, that's why I say it is all here. We can't deal with everything, but the Lord is so precise on identifying what's going to happen to us until if you can't understand it, that's because you just blind and you just decide you're going to blind yourself. Because this thing is for real, sisters and brothers. It happened to us. That's a guy I never forget when you had the, uh, what is this former Alderman Dorothy Tillman, and then you had this Conrad Rowell. A uh, warrior running around, we're going to get us some reparation. I said, you ain't getting nothing. <laughs> That's right. Have we gotten any? Everybody got some. But us, even American Indians, they got some. I even saw one on TV. Peddling them juice loans. You can't do it. Let's think about it, sisters and brothers. Japanese got reparation. Everybody got it. But we didn't get nothing. You know why? Because this is between us and our God. The Lord will not let them do this to you. I know you don't want to hear it, but that's the way it is. Way it is. Isaiah 5 and verse 11. 5 and 11. Go ahead and read. War unto them that rise up early in the morning, uh -huh. that, that they may follow strong drink, uh -huh. that continue until night, till wine inflame them. Go ahead. And the harp. And the vial 
the tabret and pipe and wine are in their feet. Go ahead. But they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hand. He said, look, warn to them. All you want to do is convert, have fun, party. And you don't consider the operation of the Lord's hand. And we don't do it. We part everywhere, don't we? Yes, we do. All of a sudden, you get this great guy that killed himself. He was good in his time. But as far as salvation is concerned, he had no properties. You understand? That could get you into God's kingdom. He said, well, unto you the love to part. Ain't nothing wrong with part. I do a little of that myself. Might hit a Jack, hit a Jack Daniels every now and then. However, but I consider the works of God's hands, sister yes. and brother. Yes. Because if you don't, what's going to happen? Go ahead and read. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity uh -huh. because they have no knowledge. Oh, so we are in captivity because we don't have no knowledge. We didn't take note of what God said he would do to us, mm -hmm. whether we do good or whether we do bad. Go ahead and read. And their honorable men are famished. Uh huh. And their multitude dried up with thirst. So your honorable men don't know nothing. So if your honorable men don't know nothing, so you can't know nothing either. You dried up with thirst. Go ahead and read. Therefore hell has enlarged herself. Uh huh. And opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoices shall descend into it. Look, sisters and brothers. We know that hell, when you think hell, you think Satan, the devil, barbecuing somebody, don't you? Well, that ain't, no matter what you name that, that's not going to happen. There is a lake of fire, sisters and brothers. And the Lord created it for Satan and his angels. He didn't create it to give Satan a dominion. But hell itself is a state of condition. Even the grave is called hell. Sure hell is, is, go, is in the Bible. But it is hell, sister and brother, when you work a whole week and go home and tie and you don't have enough money to pay your bills. Come on now. It's hell to walk down your own streets and you can't wait to get home because you're watching your neighbor, son. That's right. It is hell when you have to have so many locks on your doors until if you got a fire, by the time you got through navigating them locks, you'll be burnt up. You're scared of your children. You're scared in the daytime. You're scared at nighttime. It is hell, sisters and brothers. You got a car and you got to hide it from the repo man. There's a whole lot of things of hell, sisters and brothers. Think about it. And that's what's happened with us. Our children own dope. Our daughters out there prostitute. Young men riding by killing one another. And the jails are so stuffed, what does it take a shoe spoon to get us in there? That's hell, sister and brother. Because we did not pay no attention to the Lord. Because the Lord tried to bless us, we would not allow him to bless us. Mm. 